lots of really cool things have been happening recently and I'm taking a bit of a break from doing cover videos and music and that sort of stuff just to tell you about some of them because it's kind of cool. <laughs> So if you've seen the title of this video, then no doubt you've already guessed that I am in a feature film. I don't know how it happened either. Now, if you only know me from this YouTube channel and what I do here, then you'd be completely forgiven for thinking that I'm just a musician. But actually, I work as an actor a lot of the time. About a year and a half ago, I shot some scenes for a film. It's a World War II drama about the Nazi invasion of the Channel Islands. It's actually a really interesting film because Jersey and the Channel Islands were the only part of Britain to actually be invaded by the Nazis. So it's all British locations but under Nazi regime, which is terrifying. It's also a completely true story uh, about a woman who took in a Russian prisoner of war and sort of sheltered him and hid him from the Germans. The film is called Another Mother's Son and it's out on the 24th of March, which all being well, that's when this video comes out. So it's out today. A film that I'm in is in cinemas right now. I should hasten to add as well, I've only got a very, very small part. I only did a few days of filming and not all of my scenes made it into the film. So, you know, it's a very blink and you miss it part, but it was good fun all the same. So after I did my few days of filming, uh, I kind of assumed that that was the end of it. I had such a small part that eventually the film would come out in cinemas and I'd maybe go and see it to see if I made the final cut or if I just got dropped completely from the film. So it was a bit of a surprise when a couple of weeks ago, I got an invitation to the world premiere of the film in Leicester Square. I really wasn't expecting that, but no, they gave me a full proper invite and everything to the world premiere, which is really cool. Thankfully, I decided to wear a suit for the occasion because when I turned up with my friend Charlotte, who came with me, we just ended up on the red carpet. It wasn't a red carpet, it was a blue carpet, but you know, same thing. Here's some photos of me and Charlotte on the blue carpet. Uh, we managed to get our photo taken. It was just really cool that not only was I at a premiere for a film I was involved with, but also there was, you know, a carpet and press and all these lights and it was just exciting. It was a really cool event. All in all, it was a really kind of bizarre and fun night. Uh, the film is awesome. I really do recommend you go and see it if you get a chance. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in it. As I said, thankfully my scenes didn't get cut. One of them still made it in, which is nice. I got a few little close-ups, which is cool. And I'm in the credits as well, which is great. So if you do go and see it, you can try and spot my name among the thousands and thousands of people who worked on that film. Now though, I want to share some stories from the set of stuff that happened while I was filming. So, um, Let's get into those. As I said earlier, the film is a World War II drama which is set on the Channel Islands in Jersey, which were under Nazi regime at the time. I was playing a Nazi soldier. Uh, I was dressed in a Nazi uniform, which is a very weird experience made slightly weirder by the fact that my first day of filming took place the day after Remembrance Sunday. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how awkward that is. We were also filming right in the centre of Bath at the time, so big city, lots of people around everywhere, and we had to travel from the unit base, which is where we got into costume and all that sort of stuff, to the location which was out in a public place. It was in a public park right in the middle of the city centre. I'm not gonna lie, we got some weird looks. I think it was awkward enough that we were dressed as Nazis. It probably was more awkward by the fact that it was the day after Remembrance Sunday. Not only that, but at one point we actually had to stop filming because the city fired off a cannon to remember the soldiers, quite rightly too. I mean, you know, by all means, stop our filming. Everything about it was awkward. But in a way, it was kind of fitting as well. The whole point of this film is to remember, to tell the stories of what happened to these people who were trapped on this island with the Nazis. So yeah, in some ways, it wasn't ideal that we were wearing that costume, but in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't compare to the sacrifices and the things that the people of Jersey had to go through during that time. So, you know, we survived. The second story I have to tell is less about filming and more about my journey to get to filming. For those of you who don't know anything about the making of films, you often have to be up very, very early in the morning. Now the film company had very kindly put me up in a very, very nice hotel for the night. So I had to get a train on a Sunday over to Bristol and then get an hour long bus down to this town. But I knew that the hotel was about five miles away from where the bus dropped me. So I would need to get a cab from the bus station over to the hotel. So I got off the bus uh, and it was raining quite heavily because it was the middle of winter. There were just no cabs around at all because it was a Sunday in a very, very small little town in Somerset. Never have I been more reminded that I'm not in the centre of London than when I got out of this town. It was on a Sunday night just completely dead, nobody around at all. There was literally me and one other guy waiting at this taxi rank for a cab to show up and he was in front of me. Eventually, after about five or 10 minutes of waiting in the rain, a cab does show up and this guy in front of me gets in. I say to the cab driver, 
would you mind after you've dropped this guy off coming back for me because I don't know when another cab is going to show up? And this cab driver said to me, oh yeah, I'll try. I'll come back as long as I don't get another booking. So I thought, okay, we'll see what happens, but I'm going to try and phone around some other places anyway. So the first number I tried, they just didn't exist. Uh, the number was dead. It just, there was nothing there. So that was a complete no-go. The second number I tried, uh, I got an automated message telling me that the cab company was closed because it was a Sunday doing well here. This is where it gets really interesting. The third number I called, I got through to a little old lady who had never heard of the cab company, had no idea what I was talking about, and as far as I could tell, wasn't even from the town I was in anyway. The fourth number I called, I got through to an actual person who was an actual cab driver in a cab at that moment. Brilliant, I was thinking. Until about five minutes into the phone call, when I realised that the cab driver I was speaking to was the same cab driver who had picked up the guy in front of me earlier. I swear to god, this guy must have been the only working cab in the entire town that night. Thankfully common sense struck me and I made an official booking with this guy, which meant he had to come back to me. But after about 45 minutes of standing in the rain, after having done Sunday trains and Sunday bus replacement services to get to this tiny little town, I eventually got in this cab and made my way to the hotel. I think it was about half 10, 11 o'clock at night by the time I finally arrived there and I was just absolutely shattered. Especially knowing as well that I had to be up the following morning at about 4.35 so I could be ready to be taken to the location for that day's shooting. There you go, that's a bit of a taste of some of the glamour of filming. Uh, please do go and see the film if you get a chance. As I said, it's out in cinemas today, uh, the 24th of March. It's called Another Mother's Son. Here's the poster again. Hopefully this will be the first of many more future film roles that I get. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. As I said earlier, on this channel I normally do covers of popular songs and of my own music, so if you want to see some more of that, please do consider checking it out. There's a handy playlist right there as well. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!